All right, so here we are at the battlequestions.com homepage. Today I'm going to be showing you how to generate practice questions for the content questions. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and click on the questions generator tab. And once we pull that up, we're going to go ahead and we're going to hit the question exporter option. And from there, we have to select some books. So we'll go with Among the Hidden because of Winn-Dixie, The Crossover, Dinosaur Boy, Schooled, Fish in a Tree, and Hatchet, and Harry Potter. Because that's always a good book, too. So what we can do is we can go ahead and choose any amount of questions, anywhere from 25 to 200. And we have three different levels. You have the novice, you have intermediate, and expert. So I'm going to go ahead and generate novice first, and we want to make sure we click on the content only. So from here, we're going to go ahead and click on practice questions, and that'll begin to generate. So what we can see is it says the first question in a in fish in a tree who tells Allie that she may have dyslexia and that is why she has a hard time reading and then right below directly below we can see the an the answer is Mr. Daniels and the author is Linda Maloli Hunt with the page number of 157 so if we wanted to do slightly more difficult questions we could keep the same books the same amount of questions but we do intermediate and unselect novice Go ahead and hit practice questions again. And these are a little bit more difficult. It's like easy, medium, and hard. So what we can see is the questions have gotten a little bit more difficult, but not as hard as possible. And so for our last, we have expert. And this is if you've read the books, so you understand completely, and you're completely confident in your comprehension of the book. So then we go ahead and keep the, we click expert, unselect intermediate, keep the content only selected, and hit practice questions one more time. And we can see that it says in Hatchet, what did Brian call the first bird he killed and ate? So that's definitely way more specific than the questions before here. And he called it the first meat. We can see the author is Gary Paulson, and we can find the answer on page number 147. So not only do we have practice questions, but you also have, if we go back to the questions generator, we can also do an online quiz generator. And so we can go ahead and just choose the same books. And so now we see we can do a number of questions in the quiz and then we can select content only. So you can assign this to your students if you are a coach, and this is another way to go paperless. You don't have to worry about printing off all the copies of the quiz, and it also sends your student scores directly to your coach's gradebook. But if we're a student, we can go ahead and we can click Try Me. And we see that questions 1 through 10 will pop up. So if we scroll back to the top, it says, Question 1, in Hatchet, what was Brian surprised the pilot allowed him to do? So then we can hit this arrow right here, and that'll scroll down and give us a number of choices, of answer choices. So the answer choices are fly the plane, open the window, chew gum, or bring his dog. And so I remember that Brian was surprised that the pilot actually let him fly the plane, so I know that's the answer. And so once we've gone through and we answer each question, then we can go down to the very bottom and we can hit submit. And after that, it'll tell us that our scores and our results have been posted. If we click on the word posted, it's a hyperlink. It'll take us right to there. And we can see that this was taken at 315 and I made a 40. So I didn't do too well. I missed six out of the 10 questions. But that's okay. And so what I can do from here is I can go back and I can continue to better. And even if I click on the quiz number, I can go ahead and I can see which ones I got correct and which ones I got incorrect. And then I can find for the ones I got incorrect, the correct answer as well as the page number it's found on. So, and I can also see what I have answered. So if you have any questions, please email us at info at battlequestions.com or give us a call at 919-623-7346. Thank you and have a great day.